Okay, I'm going to try and show how to set up the language bar on Windows. Um, I'm working here with Windows Vista and I'm kind of new to it. We've only just recently got this new laptop with Windows Vista. Uh, if you're working with Windows XP or some other uh, version of Windows, I think the, the process is, is pretty similar. You, you'll just have to play around with your system to work out exactly how to get to the options that you need. But to start off with, we need to go into the control panel. So I'm going to go to the control panel and then I'm going to select the um, the clock language and region menu option. So I select that. Once I've selected that, um, there's an option to change keyboards or other input methods. So I'll select that. And I'm going to select change keyboards. Now, right now what I have set up is the default, which is English United States. And the keyboard style is US. So what I want to do is add a new one. When I add a new one, uh, let's see if I can actually scroll down by just hitting the S key. Yeah, that seems to work. So I'm just going through the list right now, hitting the S key. Probably be easier to just scroll. So that's what I'll do. Okay, so I'm going to select Spanish, Mexico, and I'm going to select United States International. Well, that I haven't played with all the options, but I believe that this is one is. is is probably the best option is the one that um, I use so once I've done that you see now I have an extra item in the uh, list of keyboards so English is still using the US keyboard and the Spanish is using uh, United States International so I can click OK and click OK again and I think I can close this down so now what's happened is Windows knows that sometimes I want to use different types of keyboards. So sometimes I'm going to use the standard US one, sometimes I'm going to be typing in Spanish, and so I want to be able to use the international one. What you can see now is that down here on the on my taskbar, I now have a little uh, square with EN for English. And if I click on it, it gives me my other option, which is ES for Spanish, Espanol and it tells me it's Spanish Mexico. Now I've selected the international keyboard for that. So if I select that, you see it's now switched to ES. Now, just as an example, if I bring up, that setting is, is, is uh, available for each program that you go into. So right now, I'm just going to go into Notepad and show you Actually, it's brought up WordPad. I must have clicked wrong. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So right now, it's saying EN for English. If I click that, okay. If I if I'm in here and I try and type uh, the word Espanol, I'm going to type E S P A. -N. Now I want the N with the tilde. So uh, it's not available to me in English. So what I I end up typing is E S P A N O L, which is not right. Okay, so if I switch this over to Spanish, type the same word. Now, before I hit the N, I hit the tilde, which is uh, on my keyboard. It's way over to the left, next to the 1. I do a shift. Nothing actually appears right now. I've typed the tilde, but, it, but um, the program is waiting for the next letter that I hit. So I hit N, and now I have an N with a tilde on it. Um, just in the same way, for example, if I type the word arbol, arbol, I want uh, an accent on the initial A, so I hit the single um, quotation mark, then I hit the letter A, and now I have my A with an accent on it, B O L. Okay? So essentially, you've got three keys that you can hit before you type a letter, and um, you can type um, the colon, uh, that's not right. Sorry about that. I just had a momentary uh, bout of forgetfulness. I'd forgotten which characters I used, but. As I said, you can use a single quotation mark plus an, 
a vowel and it will give you uh, your accents. You can use the double quotation mark and a U and you'll get the, the uh, I don't even know the name for that accent, but you get the little accent over the U. And another thing you can do is you hold the ALT key down, that's ALT, and you hold that key down plus, for example, the question mark or the exclamation point, and you get your upside down exclamation points. So that's um, all very useful. If you actually want to use single quotes, um, basically I think what happens is it you hit the single quote, it waits to see what letter you type. If you type a vowel, it's going to interpret that as an accent. If not, um, it goes ahead and puts the single quote in. Same with double quotes. So if you actually want to put single quotes in, and you're going to start with a with a with a vowel, what I do is I just put both the single quotes in, then backspace, and then start typing. Um, in there. You can play around with it anyway. The the basic idea is that once you've got this item down here on your uh, taskbar, you can toggle between English and Spanish. And, and um, as I said, you would want to, when you bring up another program, it will default back to English. So you want to go down and, and switch it back to Spanish down there. Um, and that's basically all there is to it.